How to use Upcard for your Shopify Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great In this video I'll show you exactly step by step how to get started with using Upcard So let's actually get started So the first thing that you will need to do is just navigate to apps and install it So we will just go to all recommended apps And go for Shopify App Store And then from here we can just go ahead and search for Upcard So just Upcard and we should find it uh, right here so up cards cards drawer cards upsell built for shopify just select this one and you'll be able to install it right away now it is not going to be for free it does have uh three different uh plans here depending on the amount of orders that you have so if, it, if it's uh to up to 50 orders then you can do 15 dollars uh, a month and so on uh, you can just you know see the pricing for yourself but to install it we just go ahead and click on install over here uh, and very simply install it to our shopify store it's not going to take too long just uh one more step until we uh, actually get to set it up just install again to verify the installation and fulfill it So with that being done, now it's going to ask you uh, which plan you are going to be using uh, and you'll be able to start uh, a 14 day free trial. And like it says here, uh, if you don't like it, you can just uninstall within the fir uh, first 14 days and it's going to just avoid the charges. So we can just go ahead and select a plan, right? Like this one, for example, growth plan um, and we can you know just test things out for free until uh, we decide whether we will like it or not so you can just enter your um, information card information here and you should be good to go so let me just do that real quick and i'll get back to you once once i'm done so after you finish your signing up process you should find yourself within this dashboard here where you'll be able to edit your uh cards within was with the cart editor and you can also edit the sticky cart uh so let me, let's just um start down here within the setup guide so the first thing that you will need to do is actually uh enable it so we can just activate up cart real quick we can just uh, either do it from here or uh from the outside so let me actually go ahead and do it from here uh, and it will take us to the okay, so we can just do, do it with the editor so to to enable it Basically what you will need to do is just go to your uh, theme your current working theme this one and just click on customize And then from here, let me just exit out of this From here you will need to navigate to app embeds down here You just click on that and you should find up cart uh, Bridge we can just you know see it's over here. So with this one we should be able to turn it on over here if i'm not yeah okay it's uh, kind of invisible but you can see it over here and we can just after we enable it we can just click on save okay great so we can now actually exit out of here uh and go to our cart again so now that it is activated we can actually just do that if we refresh so let me just go ahead and do that Okay, so now it says connected successfully. So now we can actually edit things out from here. So we've got a few tabs that we can uh, go through like design, announcements, rewards, upsells, and so much more here, which we will go through one by one. Uh, and we can just go ahead and actually start with the design here. So uh, the first a few settings here you can inherit fonts from theme which is which i recommend you know to just keep the brand uh like one one type of font so you don't really you know change things up a little bit so you just keep this on and also if you want to show the strike through prices you can also do so if not you can just turn it off and you can see um the uh view right here the live view but let me just keep this on. So for the colors, we can change the background color if you want. We can just make it whichever color we want. Let's just make it gray. 
Uh, you can change the accent color. If you don't know what that is, you can just change it and see for yourself. Let me just go ahead and keep it as this color. And then you can, you know, change the button color and button text color and so on. Uh, and also the hover, you can see now it's changing here uh, for the text and so on. So that's pretty much just the designing aspect of it. Next, we will go to announcements here and to enable it because you can see it's hidden. Uh, we will just need to click on it and enable it. And you can see it is now present and we can actually go ahead and see it. Now you can edit things out a little bit. So you can either uh, add the timer, which is already added for you. You just need to set things up. For example, uh, change it to be, uh, duh, 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 let me do that. Let me go here, make it 100 minutes. I don't know. So we can, you know, just set things up here if you want. But I just prefer to, uh, if you want to add an announcement without a timer, you can just do so by deleting this and adding some sort of text. Okay, so whether you like it or not, you can just either disable it or keep it on and enable it. Uh, it's completely up to you and you can change the color, obviously. So we can just do that, for example. Uh, border color, if you want to change that, you can do so. And we can just go ahead and go to the next one. We can just also make it bold. So we can go to rewards, for example, and also we need to enable it. Uh, and in here, we can set some colors first. And here you can see, for example, free shipping unlocked. Uh, and we can set things up to be um, whether it's a card total. So if, if it reaches a specific uh, amount of money or item count. So usually it's going to be card total. So if you offer some sort of free shipping once you reach specific number, this is going to be, be very helpful. So you can change this minimum amount to become something too expensive. And we can see uh, that it should change accordingly. So if we just choose this one. Okay, so let me just do something more realistic. Okay, so you can see here, uh, you're 4,800 and so on away from free shipping. So that's because we set up the minimum amount. But what you need to also keep in mind is that um, like you will need actually to set up uh, the free shipping within settings. It's not going to set it up for you. It's just an announcement. So whether it's a discount or free shipping, you should actually have it turned on uh, from the settings of Shopify and you actually have the offer. It's just going to be an announcement. Okay. So uh, next up, we can just go ahead and go to upsell. This is going to give us the ability to add more items. So if you want. Uh, I recommend that you use AI recommended upsells. It's just going to make things a lot easier for you. Um, and if you don't want to, if you want to make it manual and make it harder for yourself, you can configure manually uh, and using some triggers and stuff. But I just recommend that you use the AI and you can, you know, show uh, the type of um, hovering. So if you can make it a carousel or block, so you can, you know, scroll down. It's completely up to you. When when it comes to the customization stuff, you can. It's completely up to you. So you've got more stuff like upsell settings, uh, show upsell offer if item is already in cart. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend you turn this on, uh, like, at all because this is just this is just going to show duplicates. We don't want that. And then you can also limit to the number of upsells in the cart. So you can turn this on. It's going to give you. Uh, the minimum, uh, the maximum number. You can make it like five, for example. You know, completely up to you. Let me just turn this off. And actually, let me let me just disable this because I don't want to make this too crowded. Or actually, let me just keep it on. So next up, we've got add-ons. And by the way, if you just want to turn off anything, for example, the announcement, you can just click on it and click on disable, and it's just going to disappear again. So regardless, let's just go to add-ons. Uh, let's see. So you, you got uh, either a product add on, for example, if you offer some sort of a wrapping, uh, you can just add this and you can just go ahead and select a product and make it to be the add on, or if it's shipping protection, you can also add this so you can add shipping protection with a cost completely up to you. So let me just skip this one additional notes here. You can, um, let the customers add special notes or uh, like additional notes 
uh, you can just enable it and you will see what I mean. Like here, if they can just enter special instructions for the order, completely up to them. Uh, you can just keep this on or off completely up to you. And you can obviously change the text uh, to whatever you want. Let me just disable this. I don't want it to be too crowded. Okay, so for the discount codes, this I should... Like, most of the time you would just enable this. Why not? You know, you just have it underneath. And you can have um, the customers enter the discount code from the add-in to cart instead of, you know, checkout. Uh, which, you know could actually entice them to place the order right away. Um, next, we've got the subscription upgrades. Here, you can just go ahead and turn this on. And you can see upgrade to subscribe and save 20%. Uh, and you can just, you know, keep this on or off completely up to you and your offers and whatever you're running. So let me just disable this and go to the next one. So if you have an interest badges or if you want to show like payment methods, so for example, payment icons, we can just enable it and you can see at the bottom we've got the payment options here and you can make it to the to be at the top if you want but i'm just again i'm not a fan of it i will just disable it and there's another thing that we can do which is actually going to be better so express payments for example so instead of just you know checking out with the normal checkout we can just do um, paypal and for example google pay or Apple Pay for this instance and enable it and you can see they have the these two other options now so they can just right away check out with PayPal so uh, integrations if you want to integrate anything and then we've got these settings here these settings are going to be going to be uh, completely personal so uh, whichever one you actually like you can just do it uh, for example the card position you can see it's from the right side if you want it to be from the left you can also do so uh, and if you have any custom codes and stuff. So let me just go ahead and save this. And that's pretty much the cart editor. Now, uh, if we want to also edit the sticky cart, we can do so from here. It's very easy and simple. You know, it's this one right here. And we can just change the icon to be one of those three. Um, and we can you now change the uh, color of it. So it depends on your site so my site is kind of gray so we can just make it like this and we can change this to be actually i think red was actually very suitable okay so you can change again other colors and stuff and you can just after after you're done just enable it and click on save uh, and i believe we can also do the same thing here this one is disabled let me just activate it from here and we can just go ahead and uh, enable all of this next and uh, activate up cards and now it's activated so that this is pretty much how to use up cards and activate it for your account or uh, shopify both the cart editor and sticky editor uh, and you know you just play around with it and see if you're if you like it or not and yeah that's pretty much how to use it i hope you liked this video and thanks for watching